at times you may go through the settings and hit the wrong thing and it could kind of drive you crazy when you do that and that's what happens with the zoomed in feature if you don't know that you've done it it could be a big problem because you're like what's going on why is everything so zoomed in and all over the place and how do I control it well in this video I'm going to go ahead and show you how to turn it off and explain how to use it that way you can either continue to use it or remove it if it's just a nuisance welcome everybody I'm Kevin from helpfultutorials.net if you like iPhone tips tricks and tutorials do me a favor smack that subscribe button we'd love to have you and with that said let's go ahead and jump right in and show you what's going on so on my screen right now it looks normal if I go ahead and activate it, I can zoom into things and I can move them on the screen. So the trick is three fingers. If you double tap with three fingers, it's going to remove the zoom temporarily. If you want to activate the zoom again, double tap with three fingers again. If you want to move on the screen, you use three fingers and you scroll with the three fingers. So this is really good if someone is visually impaired and they're having a problem seeing the screen. They're not blind, but they can still see it's just hard and they need to see things close up. So using the three finger touch can go ahead and zoom in and they'll be able to read articles and everything like that that they need to and see what they want. So if this is a problem and you don't want it, what we want to do is use your three fingers, double tap so it goes back to normal. And then we're going to go ahead and choose settings. Once you're in settings, you're going to scroll down to accessibility. And we're going to go ahead and tap on accessibility. And in here is going to be your feature zoom. Let's go ahead and tap on that. And on zoom, all you have to do is turn it off. Now it does give you the instructions that I gave you earlier. If you want to keep using it, it will go ahead and do that. Also, there is an option for smart typing. If you want smart typing, we'll switch to window zoom when a keyboard appears and move the window so that the text is zoomed, but the keyboard is not. So that is a feature if you'd like. So to get rid of this, just go ahead and flick that off and go back out and go back out again we can go back to the desktop now if i triple tap with two fingers nothing's happening at all it's now turned off and the problem is resolved i really hope that resolved your issue and i want to thank you so much for the view